listing the factors of a number. Remember that factors are numbers that when multiplied together give you the term you began the problem with. In this case we're just doing number um, terms, so a numerical value like 24 has factors, things that multiply together to give you 24. One method you can use for finding all of the factors of the number 24 is simply making a list by starting with, for example, the number 1. This is kind of how I recommend it at first especially. I know that 1 is a factor of 24 because 1 is always a factor. 1 times what? Well, 1 times 24 gives us 24. And I separate them out because I'm going to have a, um, a long list in here. So 1 times 24 is 24, which means they're both factors of 24. Now, is 24 divisible by 2? Yes, it is, because it's even. So we know that 24 is divisible by 2. And 2 times what is 24? Well, it's 12. 2 times 12 is 24. Is 24 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Now, if you don't remember if it is or not, you need to work on your multiplication facts or... I suppose you can rely on your calculator a little bit, or you can remember some of our rules. The rule for 3 is that if I can add these two numbers, 2 and 4, in which this case I get 6, if that sum is divisible by 3, so is this number. And 6 is divisible by 3, so so is 24. 3 times what gives me 24? Well, 3 times 8. So 3 and 8 are both factors of 24. And we go to 4. Is 4 a factor of 24? Yes, it is. 4 times what gives me 24? Well, 4 times 6. And now uh, we go to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, now 5. Is 24 divisible by 5? No, it is not because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0, which means it's divisible by 5. So this is not divisible by 5. And then the next number we would try is 6. Well, we already know 6 is a factor, so we have now listed all the factors of 24. Now 17, okay, again we start with 1, because 1 times 17 is 17, so we can go 1 times 17. Is 17 divisible by 2? No, because it's odd. Is it divisible by 3? Well, 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 is not divisible by 3, so no, neither is this. 4? Nope. 5? No. 6? No. 7? No. 8? You can keep going forever. What you realize is there's no other factors of 17, just 1 and 17. It is called a prime number. So 1 and 17, if I want to bring that in. In 42, 1 times 42 is 42. It's divisible by 2. 2 times what? Well, 42 divided by 2 is 21. So 2 times 21. Again, then using the rule about 3, 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is divisible, that number is divisible by 3. So so is this number. 3 times what? Well, again, 42 divided by 3. What is that? Well, that's... 14. So that's one of those where you might not know what 3 multiplies to get 14, so you might have to use a calculator or you do your long division. Remember long division? 42 divided by 3. Well, 3 goes into 4 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract, I get 12. 3 goes into 12 four times, so it is 14. Um, it's not divisible by 4 because, well, because if I did my division like that, I wouldn't get a whole number. Um, 5, no, because it ends in a 2. 6, yes. 42 is divisible by 6. If you know your, your multiplication facts, 6 times 7 is 42. Again, the next number I would try would be 7, but we have already got to 7. So here's the list of all the factors of 42.